Well, I think it's the excitement. You know they're capable of doing what they want to do, and, and it's an interest to see how they develop into sort of going to the next step, step in their career, really, because, you know, the Ryder Cup, we're not playing for anything, but you're playing under, under extreme pressure, and uh, I think that's the beauty about the Ryder Cup. You, you, all, you all want to try and test your, your ability playing under the most intense pressure and I think uh, it's a good sign for him and plus, plus you're playing with a partner you don't want to let him down you want to play your best and how would you cope with that but also it's good you know where you get your balance rights is having your own experienced players playing with a, a rookie you don't want to put two rookies out really because you know they don't know what that experience like so if you put an experienced player with a rookie he can talk to the player nurture him around same what it's like and that's what you've got to try and do in, in in your team room, get that balance, talk to these younger players, get the other players to talk to them, get them to feel like, oh, I was really nervous when I went out first. And then they think, well, it's because he was nervous. You know, why should I be, you know, you know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't hurt to be nervous. You want to be nervous, you want that tension. You want it to happen, but they, they did, you know what I mean? They lost the rhythm, they lost the momentum. Mark James, he lost the momentum, the team lost them, he did, the team lost the momentum. And that happens in Ryder Cup, you know, the momentum goes, panic comes in, you know, and then, and then you, the next thing, you just, you know, there's so much pressure on the guy, and, it, and, it's, and that's what happens. And of course they're going to try a redemption. Anybody would, you know, it's like, you would, you just want to, you know, you just got a good team, and I just got to get up there and do well, it. Well, we don't want to have any leaders, really. You just want to have you know, your, your vice captains, your captains being the leaders, and then you want your players to enjoy it and just, you know, do what they do is, uh, you know, you would obviously, when I was captain, uh, you know, we had our leading players, we had like Monty, Monty and Harrington, you know, I was asking, you know, what do they feel and whatever. Uh, I just made sure, what you want to do with a captain, you want to make sure that everybody's comfortable. You speak to every, every player, see if they're enjoying it. See if they're having a good time, you know, when you, you, it might be for some players, it might be the only first time they ever play in the Ryder Cup, so enjoy that moment, enjoy that time. Yeah, you're, even if you lose, sometimes, you know, you, 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 you're down at that time, but if you look back, it, you know, it was, it's a, it was exciting and yeah. everything, and, you know, as long as you don't feel like you let the team down, you know, every, you just you say, well, we lost, but, we, you know, we just wasn't quite there, you know what I mean? They were just a better team that week. Speak to all of his players, if they're happy, you know. Also, you know, you, now is this time here to feel like, to talk to each player, to feel like who they would play with, who would like to play with. You get a list of players, you know, who would you like to play in the four balls with? You get a couple, two or three names off them. Who would you like to play in the foursomes? And, and then basically you do that with all 12 of them, and then you start, for me, I was writing down my parents if, you know, weeks and months and years before we got there, and, you know, you know, as the team changes, you know, change different players in, so he will, he'll be well prepared for what's coming anyway. Uh, the, you know, the guys are so good these days, they all at the ball pretty well the same distance. I think what I did at the ride in, in 2006 was I narrowed the fairways up a little bit, worked out they were a little bit longer than us off the tee, and I put a couple of trees on the corner so they couldn't carry it over the trees. So hopefully they, you know, hit the tree and put it down. You just you know, they cut. You know, I think it's important to maybe round the greens. You cut. You don't you're just just lobbing it, lobbing it out of that rough all the time. Yeah. Have them there where you can play the chip and runs, the putts, whatever. So give it a variety. Yeah, are they straighter drivers? This or are there, are there weaker drivers? Do we have the fairways narrower? Do we have them wider? You know. Uh, so you can you can do all things like that. The speed of the greens you can do. We can keep the speed down so they're slower and it usually suits our guys because we're more used to it.